What's up guys? So today we are on God Exile. This is a server uh, owned by my friend Lazo. Some of you might remember Lazo. He's kind of been around Revival and my previous servers. If, if you've been around my servers for a while, you'll, you'll definitely know Lazo. Um, so this is a server he's released, recently released. We'll check it out. And if you're looking for a server to play while uh, you know, we're working on Revival 2, definitely come check this one out. So I'll make my character real quick. When you first make an account, it says talk to this person and she said some stuff. I don't, I didn't read it. Uh, <laughs> most people never read tutorials, like, <laughs> you gotta, as a game designer, you have to always factor that in, no one is gonna read your tutorial. I think it said, run over this way, right? I don't, yeah, let's see, there's an arrow, that's cool. So, I, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty decent tutorial, like, it actually seems like it tells you, it seems like it tells you stuff that most people would probably already know, right? Fight, fight things here, but it looks well done, well coded, well timed, I do appreciate that. Oh, that's interesting. So he said that it was Imscape. I'm not really familiar with this source uh, at all. Um, I mean, I know he's played with it a lot himself, and I've played some versions of his server in the past that I assume were on the same source. But as far as, like, iconic, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, Imscape, I remember, was one of those servers, like Delta Escape and, and whatnot, where it was, like, it was so unique, it was classified as its own thing. So I'm sure anybody who played it will... We'll have some fond memories taking around. So let's go to the skills. Uh, what's missing? Or am I... Oh, Hunter. Yeah, Hunter's missing. Okay. PKP. What are, oh, PK points, I'm assuming. XP rates seem pretty good. Don't seem too slow. Don't seem too fast. Uh, I'm not sure if you have to do anything past the tutorial. It still says tutorial here. That's interesting. I'm sure... I wonder if I can just, like, teleport home. I never really thought to try that. Save until further than I assume that's home-related, or maybe they're just working on that. Uh, like I said, it is... Uh, actually, I don't know if I even said it. But the server is in alpha, so you can play, and you should not have your progress reset or anything like that. It should be a normal server. Play it and have fun. Uh, but it is, you know, and it's still being worked on the entire time, and there's going to be... should be updates all the time. I will link the Discord, and you can check that out, too. Uh, he's always doing giveaways and posting... Oh, I died. What's going to happen here? Oh, cool. Doesn't even seem like we lost our stuff. But uh, once you leave... Oh, okay, you don't lose any items in the tutorial. This is pretty well done. Pretty snazzy. I do like the effort. Like, uh, when I was when I was working on a tutorial myself on Revival 2, I was trying to think of, like, like you know, what I could do to engage it. Or, or, or really, just Revival 1 in general. Like, trying to think of, like, how do I make a tutorial good? And I honestly feel like Lazo has done a really good job here. I feel like this is pretty well done. I think I think what he needs to do is less on just actual training and more on his gameplay, like what, what what's unique to this server, but I think that's more of like just once you find your rhythm, you'll get there. But the fact that he's actually got like a full tutorial out is pretty nice, but I think then another thing is most people would prefer to just skip through it. I think he should probably include an option to skip it, and if there is one, he should probably make it more visible because dumb people like me aren't going to see it. So let me keep killing these and I'll figure out what I have to do for the next step of the tutorial. Right, just talk to people. Head west, and when you're talking to the wizard, uh, uh west this way. After. It would help if I went west, right? So, yeah, pretty simple tutorial. I definitely like it. Uh, I think you should probably just make people be able to do it immediately. Most people are lazy and don't like doing tutorials. So, the. Is, it just, is this the home location? Or is this just like a starting point? Hey! <laughs> there's Lasso! And is that a person, or is that just a pet? I think that's a pet. That's cool. Uh, I don't know. Is this the is this like legit the home location? Because if you go there, it says no, right? Okay, and then home. I suppose Edgeville is probably just the home location. It starts off there, so not everybody gets spammed in here. We do got thirty minutes of bonus XP, so I'm just gonna go mess around and uh, you know use that, I guess. Okay, so this is more of like a realistic kind of server. If you want to teleport to places, you have to have the runes. You can see we have run energy, and it does drain. So this is, if you like a more realistic feel. Um, then, yeah, the server will be for you. Okay, so we did get, like, 100 PKP. I'm not sure what that means. I'll try to figure that out. Uh, also has, like, the old school total level thing here. This is so nostalgic. <laughs> With the combat level right here and the total level that way. Uh, also notice these things in our inventory. I'm not sure what they do. Donate token. Teleport. Okay, I think you have to use... I think you have to be donated to get it. And then claim membership. Does that just claim third days member? Did you get third days member? Or did he just give that to me? I don't know. I'm not sure. But now can I use it? Oh, or use at the cupboard. We have to teleport to the donator cupboard. Is this a boss? I have a feeling this is a boss, and I'm about to get destroyed with like zero stats. But I don't really care. Yolo. Oh, <laughs> did I just? 
that's cool. Oh, there's... Oh, it's a shop? Oh, it's a shop. Okay. Cool. Then we're not getting destroyed by a boss. Cool. Can we buy anything? Oh, we can buy a... Uh, yeah, we can buy a whip. Oh, they're all... Cool. Oh, I assume they're all just... Like, just... They're basically just colored differently. So that's cool. The server has those. Do you don't have lime whip? Oh, it's... There, there's... This server definitely has a lime whip. I'm guessing it's, like, better. Maybe it's in mystery boxes. Oh, we can... Did he just give me that stuff, or does everybody get that stuff? I gotta, I'm gonna log on to a new account and see if everybody gets that stuff. Or maybe that's, like, one per IP. I, I don't know. I don't... Alright, alright. Well, let's go Scion. Scion's definitely the coolest. Wings is cool. Oh, yeah. So then, can every... I wonder if... Okay, maybe the server does get... It's gonna reset if everybody just gets this shit for free. I don't know. We don't even have Sony Attack. Alright, well, that's not my goal. Sony Attack. Cool. Let's see what one of these mission boxes give. Oh! It's one of these ones. Spin. By the way, if you ever see something like this where it spins, your reward is already determined that the spin is purely for, like, effect. Just so you know. I, I don't know. Some people think that, like, this, they're like, oh, oh, it's so close to a big thingy. I don't, I'm not even sure what's actually a big thingy. But we just got two party hats. That's cool. I suppose, uh, I, yeah, I have no clue what would be like that. That's going to work perfect with my party, or my whip, though. Oh, is that going your, that goes in your body slot? I guess that kind of makes sense. I just guess most people would think of it as a... Did I just... Oh, it... That's cool. Did it do a little animation when I wore it? Wow. That's cool. Alright, let me uh, let me try to find some other stuff. Alright, let me check and see if you do get that stuff. Okay, maybe it's just one starter per uh, IP, because I don't think I got anything. Uh, I have no clue. Let me know in the comments if anybody checks the server out. Okay, so you have some commands in here. You have, uh, I guess that's Barbarian Teleport? Yeah, okay. So that's interesting. It seems like the Barbarian is, like, the home location. It's just, uh... There really isn't a home location, because this is more of, like, a RuneScape-type server. Where you... You really wouldn't spend... You wouldn't, wouldn't, really wouldn't want to spend time in one spot. You'd move around. Okay. So then the shops seem like they're a lot more, like... Alright, pretty balanced. Uh, got a little bit of money. I wonder if we can sell any of this stuff. If we, if we even should. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Okay. That's cool. Uh, can we buy anything? Uh, a little, little, little pricey. Ooh, I was just looking through the menus and there's a collection log. That's pretty cool. Uh, is there anything we could, like, do in the first magic chest? Oh. Jad Wars. What? How do I do this stuff? Fire cube. Uh, I mean, I guess Banshee. Oh, what? What? <laughs> Why did Banshee drop? So then I'm assuming it's not like normal Banshees unless you just kill it. I don't know. Alcarid Warrior. Al uh, I guess I'm going to go to Alcarid and try to get a perfect gold bar just to like, <laughs> just unlock something off the slot. So in Falador, there's an NPC. Teleports you here. You must walk west. Oh, is it over here? Okay, so I think it's a, it's a different mini game. I'm thinking. I don't think it's going to be the, the full waves. Uh, I probably have to get prayer first, but I mean, if it is just Jad, I feel like I could probably do it. We'll find out. So this is the Jad Wars, right? Oh, looks like I have to wait for one more player. I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, definitely have to check this out later. But uh, so this is the only way to get fire camp. I'm sure this isn't the only way. I'm trying to find fishing supplies at the moment. This is definitely one of those servers where you. Uh... Oh, <laughs> I gotta leave. Where you're probably going to need to ask a million questions. Also going to upgrade to Scimitar. Just going to go with Mithril Scimitar because I bought a Dragon Snaff. And it requires 60 attacks. I'm hoping it'll have attack stats and I can just kind of use that as my melee weapon. So we get to whip. I'm still killing these. Trying to get the uh, trying to get the gold bar just so we have like one thing locked. I thought it would be the easiest. But I have no clue what this thing does or how rare it is. I probably should have looked that up. Oh, that's cool. He showed me something uh, with the wings. Uh, you can, like, right-click operate them, and you, like, float. But it's just when you're standing. Right, yeah, that's cool. Uh, if you played Revival, you might remember Inflection. He was a uh, staff member on Revival for quite a while. Uh, he's a staff member on here. So, it's a lot of uh, similar people. Steven is uh, around here as well. All right, I think I'll stop at 60 attack. How many do we end up killing? I didn't get it, but uh, we ended up killing 110. Uh, I'm gonna go check out fishing now and get some food. You don't really need too much food because, like, in this training spot, 
there's a, a healer here, and there was a healer in Edgeville, so I assume there's healers in other spots, but still, I just want to fish, train some other skills, just to kind of see how it all works and everything. Oh, we got a gym merchant here. Let's go. Just kind of looking at the shops. You can kind of expect uh, most uh, locations to have, like, the shops as you'd expect them to be, like, for example, a gym shop right there. I'm, gonna, I'm assuming we're going to be able to buy an axe here. Can we just open this? Yeah, cool. Uh, but uh, don't call me on that. And also, when I said this was an old school server, I didn't mean it was old school RuneScape. I meant like old school servers, like 2000, 2008. Like this is Imscape remake. I never played it, like I said. But you know, if you have, you should recognize it all. And yeah, there is a dude. So you can kind of just expect things to be in the obvious locations. Ooh, there's even some extra stuff. I am not buying that. Don't too expensive. Fishing shop is in Port Sam. Uh, get this. Get that. Get that. Get that. Um, so then I was, yeah, I was talking to Marco about it, and he said that uh, when you get to 40, you actually fish uh, lobsters in Remington. I don't know if I'll get to 40, uh, but if we do, we'll go check that out. This is a pretty good spot to train. You can get multiple skills done at once. I uh, just kind of have everything in my inventory here. Uh, yeah, I also want to show off Iron Man mode. There is Iron Man mode. I didn't even see it, but apparently it's in the tutorial. We'll take a look. Okay, so then, like, if you... I guess if you talk to her, she actually does give you information. So certain skills go finish time, blah, 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 blah. But again, we're not gonna read that. That's what we're over for here for this guy. So yeah, we talked to him. Oh, they even have hardcore and ultimate as well. That's cool. Game mode. I guess we have to pick a mode. Uh, let's go hardcore. I just wanna. I assume it's gonna have the same restrictions and everything. One life, dangerous death, downgrade death step. Yeah, cool. Oh, uh, does it give you different experience modes? None. No, it seems like. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's just the default option. Gotcha. Okay, okay, cool. You have such a hardcore if you change your Cool, now we're hardcore. Awesome, so yeah, it does have our, uh, it does have Iron Man mode. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys see you soon. Uh, Revival Classic will be out soon, and then, you know, we're working on Revival 2, and I'll give you more information on that as long, you know, while we're updating. Uh, you might see some more from the server. Uh, definitely check it out if you're interested in it. Uh, leave all the links in the description below.